Hello, welcome to Cloud Journal. In this module, we will learn about data modeling. In this module, we will discuss about what is data modeling, what are the types of data models, and what are the types of data modeling, and what are the benefits of data modeling, and we will also discuss about data modeling process. Let's start. What is data modeling? Data modeling is the process of organizing and mapping data using simplified diagrams, symbols, and text to represent data associations and flow. Engineers use these models to develop new software and to update legacy software. Data modeling also ensures the consistency and quality of data. Data modeling differs from database schemas. A schema is a database blueprint, while a data model is an overarching design that determines what can be exist in the schema. Data modeling is the process of creating a visual representation of either a old information system or parts of it to communicate connections between data points and structures. The goal is to illustrate the types of data used and stored within the system, the relationships among these data types, and the ways the data can be grouped and organized, and its formats and attributes. Data models are built around business needs. Our rules and requirements are defined upfront through feedback from business stakeholders so they can be incorporated into the design of a new system or adapted in the iteration of an existing one. Data can be modeled at various levels of abstraction. The process begins by collecting information about business requirements from stakeholders and end users. These business rules are then translated into data structures to formulate a concrete database design. A data model can be compared to a roadmap, an architect's blueprint, or any formal diagram that facil facilitates a deeper understanding of what is being designed. Let's talk about types of data models. There are three types of data models. One is conceptual data model, second one is logical data model, and third one is physical data model. Let's talk about conceptual data model. Conceptual data model defining what data system contains, used to organize, scope, and define business concepts and rules. They are also referred to as an domain models and offer a big picture view of what the system will contain, how it will be organized and which business rules are involved. Conceptual models are usually created as part of the process of gathering initial project requirements. Typically, they include entity classes, their characteristics and constraints, and the relationships between them and relevant security and data integrity requirements. Let's talk about logical data model. Logical data model defining how your data system should, should be implemented and used to develop a technical map of rules and data structures. They are less abstract and provide greater detail about the concepts and relationships in the domain under consideration. One of several formal data modeling notation system is followed. These indicate data attributes such as data types and their corresponding lengths and show the relationship among entities. Logical data models don't specify any technical system requirements. Logical data models can be useful in highly procedural implementation environments or for projects that are data-oriented by nature, 
such as data warehouse design or reporting system development. And last one, fiscal data models. Fiscal data model defining how the data system will be implemented according to the specific, specific use case. Fiscal data models provide a schema for how the data will be fiscally stored within a database. They are the least abstract of all. Fiscal data models offer a finalized design that can be implemented as a relational database, including associative tables that illustrate the relationships among entities, as well as primary keys and foreign keys that will be used to maintain those relationships. Physical data models can include database management system, specific properties, including performance sharing. Let's talk about data modeling process. So there are steps involved in this data modeling process. As a discipline, data modeling invites stakeholders to evaluate data processing and storage in painstaking detail. Data modeling techniques have different conventions that dictate which symbols are used to represent the data, how models are laid out, and how business requirements are conveyed. All approaches provide formalized workflows that include a sequence of tasks to be performed in an iterative manner. So those workflows generally look like identify entities, identify key properties of each entity, identify relationships among entities, map attributes to entities completely, assign keys as needed, and decide on a degree of normalization that balances the need to reduce redundancy with performance requirements. And the last one, finalize and validate the data model. Let's talk about types of data modeling. There are four types of data modeling. One is hierarchical, hierarchical, second one relational, third one entity relationships, and fourth one graph. Let's talk about hierarchical data modeling. A hierarchical database model organizes data into tree-like structures with data stored as interconnected records with one to many arrangements. Hierarchical database models are standard in XML and GIS. Hierarchical data models represent one to many relationships in a tree-like format. In this type of model, each record has a single root or parent which maps to one or more child table. Let's talk about second one, relational data models. A relational data model manages data by providing methodology for specifying data and queries. Most relational data models use SQL for data definition and query language. Relational data modeling doesn't require a detailed understanding of the physical properties of the data storage being used. Any data segments are explicitly joined through the use of tables, reducing database complexity. Let's talk about third one, entity relationship. Entity relationship models use diagrams to portray data and their relationships. Integrated with relational data models, entity, rela entity relationship models graphically defect data elements to understand underlying models. Entity relationship models use diagrams to portray data and their relationships. Let's talk about graph data modeling. Graph data models are visualizations of complex relationships within data sets that are limited by a chosen domain. Let's talk about our data modeler role. A data modeler maps complex software system designs into easy to understand diagrams using symbols and text to represent proper data flows. 
data modelers often build multiple models for the same data to ensure all data flows and processes have been properly mapped. Data modelers work closely with data architects. Let's talk about benefits of data modeling. Data modeling improves accuracy, standardization, consistency, and predictability of data. It expands access to actionable insights and it makes smoother integration of data systems with less development time and it is faster less expensive maintenance and updates of software and quicker identification of errors and omissions and reduces risk and better collaboration between the teams including non-developers and expedited training and onboarding for anyone accessing data. So let's talk about data modeling tools. What are the tools available for data modeling? There are four tools available, Erwin Data Modeler, Enterprise Architect, ER Studio, Free data, free data modeling tool. There are some more available, but here are several examples. Let's talk about Irwin Data Modeler. Irwin Data Modeler is a data modeling tool based on the integration definition for information modeling, data modeling language that now supports other notation methodologies. It includes the dimensional approach. Let's talk about Enterprise Architect. Enterprise Architect is a visual, visual modeling and design tool that supports the modeling of enterprise information systems and architectures, as well as software applications and databases. It is based on object-oriented languages and standards. Let's talk about ER Studio. ER Studio is database design software that is compatible with several of today's most popular database management systems. It supports both relational and dimensional data modeling. Let's talk about free data modeling tool. Free data modeling tools include open source such as Open Model Sphere. So, so far in this module, we discussed about what is data modeling, what are the types of data models, and we discussed about data modeling process and we discussed about types of data modeling and what are the benefits of data modeling. And we also discussed what, what, are, what is the role of data modeler. If you have any questions on this data modeling, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.